In today's video, we're talking about decluttering again. It is so important to declutter your home. I hope when you look around in your house, things are neat and tidy. If they're not, I hope this video will encourage you to do so. Stick around. If you're new to this channel, welcome. I hope you will like and subscribe. This channel does videos about different topics, and I hope it's things that you'll enjoy and encourage you. Subscribing to a YouTube channel is free. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when the next video is published. Now to today's video. If you've been following my channel for a while, you probably know that I have rental property. I've had rental property for over 20 years. I did a recent video about decluttering your home for your children, for your grown children. If you're an older adult and have grown children, think about what would happen if you passed away and you left all your junk, <laughs> your collectibles, your stuff, for your children to have to deal with. Well, some of you probably don't realize how much stuff you have. Look around your house, look in your closets, are they full? Do you think, oh, I just need a bigger house? I just need bigger closets? <laughs> well, well, the chances are you don't need a bigger home or more closets or more storage bins. You need to declutter. This fact became so real for me when I had one of my tenants who was a precious, precious lady and she was neat as a pin. Her house was so clean and neat. When she passed away suddenly, her grown daughters traveled from Dallas, which I live several hours away from Dallas in a small town. They traveled here to clean out her home. I actually did a video several months ago about rental property and I used pictures of that house and what happened over at that property when these two adult daughters were cleaning out her home. I will leave a link to that video in the description of this video. One of the adult daughters called to let me know their mom had passed away. They told me that they needed an extra month to get all of her things out of the house. They paid an extra month's rent so they could have time to move her belongings out of the home. Well, the week they decided, or actually it was a weekend, they decided to come up from Dallas. I think it was pretty overwhelming for these adult daughters when they realized their mother, even though her house appeared to be neat and tidy, she was somewhat of a pack rat. Every closet was full. She was even renting a storage building that had been moved onto the property in the backyard. When they opened the doors of the storage building, it was very neat in there but it was full of those big plastic storage bins. She had shoes and purses and clothes and collectibles. I think most of it had come from estate sales and yard sales. She loved to go to yard sales. Every bin was full. I was out of town that weekend that the daughters were in town cleaning out the property. They gave me a call and they said, well, we've gotten everything we want out of the house, but there's a lot of things that are in nice bins and we're just gonna set them out by the street by the trash can. Well, I agree that that was a good idea. I know there are people that will come along if they see you put something out on the curb, maybe even an old piece of furniture, they'll come by and get it. I thought that's great. That's a great way to get rid of this stuff. Well, I got a call from the mayor of the small town where I live and where this property is located. He was furious. <laughs> he said that there were hundreds of bins out by the street and people had come along, opened the bins, taken what they wanted, and even some people didn't want the stuff. They dumped the stuff out and took the bin. <laughs> it was horrible, horrible, horrible. I can laugh about it now because I've had some crazy things happen having rental property all through the years, but it was pretty shocking when you get a call from a mayor. I also got two calls from neighbors that knew my cell number and they called complaining about the mess on their street from this stuff that was put out on the street for people to pick through. When I got back in town and I went over to the property, I saw someone had even on cardboard written 
free, take what you want. And they had propped this cardboard sign up against a tree. So they were just inviting people to come onto the property and go through these bins and take what they wanted. And the problem was, people just picked through it and they didn't care that they were throwing this stuff all over the lawn. Luckily, my husband has a truck and a trailer and we carried his truck and trailer over there and we took three loads of junk stuff, clothes, shoes, purses, Christmas decorations, all sorts of things to the city dump. Three trailer loads of junk. Well, it was quite a mess for us to clean up and I was disappointed that the tenant had left all this stuff or her daughters had. But I also didn't blame her daughters. I think they weren't thinking. They just thought, we'll put this out on the street and people will take it, like the whole tote, and not make the big mess. So it was a lesson learned. From now on, when a tenant says, we're just going to leave stuff out on the street, I'm going to say, no, don't. <laughs> don't just leave it out on the street. But the point of this video is to say that this tenant was so clean and neat, but she really was a pack rat. And when she passed away, it did make a burden for her children. And I wanna encourage you today, if you're a pack rat and every closet's full and you have all those bins that you've got stuff in, do you really need that stuff? Maybe you need to go through those bins and get rid of at least half of it. And next year, if you haven't used the stuff in those bins, get rid of another half. If you will reduce that clutter and the amount of bins by half every year, maybe when you pass away, your children won't have the burden that these two young ladies did when their mother passed away. Well, thanks for watching today's video. I hope I've encouraged you to declutter and not be a pack rat. Well, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.